May ang gabi. <laughs> Everyone's friendly. Everywhere. See here, honey. Love it. <laughs> hey everyone, it is me again and my wonderful wife Raquel. We are here in Tanhai Ten High City. Ten High City. And we are spending the next couple nights here and enjoying it and we're going to check it all out because it's actually rather large. I didn't know it was as big as it was. We drove through it a couple times and I was like, wow, these streets are really busy. And then uh, I Googled it and come to find out there was like 85 or 90,000 people <laughs> pop for population. And when it comes down to Jumaguete, it's got like 110 or 120,000 people. So I had no idea that the city was, you know, in comparison to it. So anyways, we decided to come down here for a couple nights and check it all out. And so far we are loving it. So, Zomba. Honey, you having fun? Oh, yeah. So what do you think of the nightlife here, honey? It's, it's good. It's busy and a lot of people. Yeah, definitely a lot, lot of people. A lot of restaurants and bars yeah we'll do a little bit of walking around and check out these streets and then we're uh, gonna head off to grab some dinner and then really enjoy our day tomorrow while it's light out and we can really see the city honey <laughs> too small for me <laughs> Buying brand new Nikes and Adidas and Reeboks on the side of the road for sale oh, for $6, brand new. more than likely they're replicas. <laughs> they promised me that they were real, but I can assure you for $6, I mean, they're replicas. These are second hand. These so, are second hand, yes. Yeah, so they're real, only they're used. What about it? It's sexy. No, it's too big for me. I like them nice and tight. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, there we go. That'll there we fit. Go. This is tight. Oh, it's nice, honey. Hi, hello. <laughs> he said they said hi. Oh, well, we are really enjoying this city. We are now uh, going to head right over so we can get some dinner and we're having a blast over here. It's actually really, really nice. And I'm really loving my new camera gear because this thing records amazing at night. Because compared to my last one, I could not see anything at night. So I didn't bother taking it out. But this thing is amazing. I love it. All right, we're off to eat some food. Ready? Yep. All right. I know I already said this, but now we're going to go get some food. I've been trying. I lost you. It's easier to lose her. She's only... What loser? 4'10", 4'11". What loser? No, not. I'm not saying you're a loser. I'm saying it's easy to lose you. Oh, really? In a crowd? Yes. Oh, okay. I thought then. Yeah. <laughs> uh, she's always trying to get me in trouble for no reason. <laughs> well, loser. I thought of winning, losing me. Hey guys, good evening. <laughs> oh. What kind of chicken is this, honey? Um. Sweet and sour. Sweet and sour chicken. No, it's Sorry. not. Sorry. I'm not Filipino, no. and I can. I know it's not alang, sweet and sour. Alang, alang. I'm hungry. What is it? Coconut. Oh, coconut. Oh, okay. Oh, oh thank you. What kind of fish? Milk fish. 
Milkfish. It's called like bamboos or bagaboos? Bamboos. Bamboos. Boneless, so they get the bones. <laughs> so why do you bring us all the extra silverware? Here. I don't know. They give us five pork and four spoons. Oh, chop suey. Oh, chop suey. Oh, chop suey. Salamat. <laughs> Salamat. Thank you, sir. Oh, okay, thank you. Oh, it's steaming. Oh, that looks good. Oh, yeah. It means fresh. Fresh. Like me. All right, so we just got to Scooby's restaurant. We got two sides of rice, side of chicken. She got a side of fish, uh, chopped suey, and I'm waiting on my sweet and sour fish now. I'm not going to ask her to wait any longer because everyone knows if you have a Filipina, you have to feed the Filipina. Fresh. So I'm just going to tell her to go ahead and start eating without me. And then I'll Why? eat whenever the meal gets here. Hey, don't say that. And we eating got two, two pineapple juices. Real pineapple. And, and a, a bottle real of water. water. Yes, a real water. It's Philippine made water. Um, Too big. But, no, uh, but, anyways, we spent a little over uh, 600 pesos. So it came out to like $11 for two fish, chop suey, chicken, two, two rice, plus hers came with rice, two drinks, and a bottle of water for $11. Uh, nice so, so now I can't wait. I'm sorry. You're sorry? I'm sorry, honey. I can't wait. Yours is very... I don't know what happened to your foot and sir. But I'm gonna eat. Is it okay? It's okay. Alright, she's gonna start eating. I'll wait for my fish for another minute. And Every we will enjoy our first night in <laughs> Tanghai City. My saying it right? Tanghai? Tanghai. Tanghai. Yeah. Tenhai. Tenhai City. Okay. Finally. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Sweet and sour fish. Oh, that Thank looks you. absolutely okay, amazing. Thank you. Sweet and sour fish. She's already eating, so let's go. Any full? Oh, yes. Okay, good. I I only... Fish is gone. Chicken's fish. gone. My rice is mostly gone. My fish is gone. Chop suey's gone. And the person that wanted the extra rice it's still there. Yeah, I thought I can eat that, but my stomach is small. <laughs> oh, good, keep it that way. <laughs> All right, so far we love Tanghai City and it has every single thing we need so far. So we just got to the burn room gym and now we're gonna work out in the morning before we go have our breakfast. All right, I know why they call it the burn room, because it is hot and we are losing a lot of calories just standing and talking. But it's a good workout, a lot of good people here. How was your workout, honey? Oh, it's very good. Very good. I sweat. Yep, a lot of sweat dripping down on my investment. <laughs> Where is dripping? It's dripping on my investment. Anyways. Uh, we both had an excellent workout here over at the burn room. Really nice gym. I paid 200 peso for the two of us for the entry fee oh, so with two Gatorade. So it was probably like 50 or less than 100. Uh, and then I got a chocolate protein smoothie with double protein in it because she's just all muscle. And that came out to be 75 peso, which is really cheap. So very happy and thirsty. My own boon So now we're going to drink our smoothie. And she has to shower. I smell good, of course, Excuse but then we'll uh, go have some breakfast at I won't 11. Or... Soap. You need, you need to buy you a safeguard, honey. I don't need safeguard. Ignore her. I smell imported. Classy. All right, let's go get some breakfast. Enjoying your lunch, honey? Very, very good here. Amazing meal. Have a great time. We love the city. There's always trouble. Water? 
found a great coffee shop. All right, we are continuing to explore uh, Tanhai City, and this is the busy part of the city, as you can tell. I will definitely uh, turn the camera around here in a minute, as long as I uh, don't get hit by a car or truck prior, but this city is a lot busier than I expected it to be. It has a lot of people and a lot of businesses going on, and I lost my wife. <laughs> Sorry, it's traffic. Okay, I found her. Yeah, but so far we've really enjoyed it. I mean, like I said, we found a great coffee shop. We've had multiple really good restaurants here. Uh, I'm gonna turn the camera on actually so you can see what I'm looking at. So we went to the Boulevard last night, had an excellent time over there. Very surprised at how many bars and nightclubs and restaurants are opening up. Very similar to Dumaguete, but not nearly as busy. But that's what we liked about it, because it's definitely up and coming. Huh? It was definitely up and coming. They're building it up the, by the boulevard. Oh. So it's not nearly as busy as Dumaguete, but that's the part I liked about it. I mean, we've been here now for three days, and I've seen a total of two foreigners. But this place is busy. It's not dead by any means. So, so far, it's been very easy to find ATMs. The hospital, the police station, there's plenty of local banks. I don't know where's um, all the in all, it's a, a nice city. It's a lot more organized than I expected. I'm sure there's a you know poverty area as well, but we haven't seen that. So everything that we've seen so far, we really enjoyed. Yeah, there's a good sized grocery store here, good sized hardware store. I mean, we've really found everything that we would need. We really like it in comparison to Dumaguete because of all the convenience from these places. And a lot of people have asked me about other little cities comparable to Dumaguete it's with uh, less foreigners, Bjergo. not necessarily less foreigners, like I don't like foreigners, but less expats and tourists, so to speak, because then it kind of changes things. And I want to say there's like 8,000 foreigners living in Dumaguete. Someone can correct me when I'm wrong, if I'm wrong, but when I looked it up, I. I saw 5,000 registered, but I've been told that there's around eight. Yeah. So I don't yeah. know if that's 100% true, but. Let's just open but... last week. Supermarket. Okay, here's the Hypermart, like in Dumaguete. Little bit smaller, but all in all, it's still really good size and it has everything that we need. Okay. We're gonna go inside, okay. do a little shopping. Oh, uh, shopping? Oh, that's your favorite, favorite word. word. Yes, your favorite word. Because like she says, everything's and always free. And my favorite free. to do. She's married to me, so everything's always free. When I asked her, do you like travel? Of course, everything's free. I said I bought a bit in For market. Okay, Ra. Good afternoon. Salamat. Good afternoon. My young hapun. Good afternoon. Doesn't matter where I go, everyone's happy oh, okay. and polite it's and like super friendly. like a supermarket though. My young hapun. Oh, I got screwed. Why did I pay $700 for my G-Shock and I can buy it here for $4? That's amazing. Sugar-free Sprite. So you want to buy or then just pick it up later? I think they close late. Very happy about this. Very, very happy about this. Very hard to find in the Philippines. Sugar-free options. Sugar-free options, everyone looks at you like you have two heads. And the tandu eye. Yeah, you know all about the liquor aisle. Tandu eye rum. <laughs> I sell this in my store, so. I know this looks a little crazy, but it's hard to find sugar-free Coke or Sprite, so we bought all of them. He doesn't love sugar because I already sweet, so. <laughs> oh, because you're already sweet. I thought it was because of me. Coke Zero, two liter. We paid 70 peso per two liter. And then for the Sprite Sugar Free, which they only had in 325 ml cans, those came out to 33 peso. So I ended up paying, don't quote me here, I could pull up the receipt. I wanna say it was a little over 1700 peso, but I got 36 cans of Sugar Free Sprite and they're large cans, and then eight two liters of the Sugar Free Coke. We don't buy a lot of things in a box or bag, but sometimes we need 
soft drinks as she calls them, or I would call them soda. Some people call them pop, you get my point. But either way, I want to only drink sugar-free. So I'm happy that I found them, and that's still a very good price compared to what I'd be paying in the US. So I can't complain at all. So, all right, now we're gonna go into the fruit and vegetable market and do a little bit of shopping there, because I've never actually seen this one. So I wanna see how big it is. And it is busy here. Surprisingly, because it's only 3 p.m., so it's not even like it's the busy time. Very Saturday organized. and Sundays, it would be really like hectic. It would be hard to walk with the organized. camera. So we're getting here. My favorite places to shop in the Philippines. I love this, these kind of places. Absolutely love it. Endless fruit, vegetables fish and everything is extremely cheap. Seven. We can It's a good size market. I like it here. Oh, how much is this tuna, honey? How much is this? Pilanete. 420. 420 a kilo? Okay, it's like less than eight dollars for two pounds, two and a half, or two point two pounds. It's me, Philippines. It's me, Philippines. Tantawa <laughs> yate. Place is busy. Extremely busy. I don't have food. Like a fish. I don't have food. Say fish, uh, YouTube. 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 Uh, it's me, Philippines. It's me, Philippines. It's, it's me, but type in Philippines, otherwise, a lot of it's me. So, it's me, Philippines. It's me, Philippines. Very hectic and busy in here. Not that that's a bad thing, that's a good thing. That means they're making sales, people are buying things. Ooh, bananas. Oh, chicken. I wonder if we're dying chicken. Mayang hapun. Pilay manok run, sir. 160. One? 170? Oh, it's 170. cheap. 170, that is cheap. Yeah, to 20 in. What do you think, honey? It smells amazing. It does not smell amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I, the prices and the food look amazing, oh, but it does cheap. not smell amazing. It smells like old fish. <laughs> but how much are the mango? 120 and 100. 120, 100. 120. Salamat. 120. Good prices. Look at all this fresh fruit. I love it here. Yeah, so this is the fruit. Well, how much are the pineapple? Pila pineapple pe? Sixty. How much? Sixty. Sixty each. Oh. Okay, like a dollar ten or something like that. Yeah. So. So I went back in without my camera gear. Um, she offered me three pineapples. If I if I bought three, they came out to fifty peso a piece. I bought four kilos of tuna at three hundred peso. I bought two kilos of tilapia at 150 a kilo and then five kilos of chicken for 150 a kilo because I bought it in bulk so it all came out a little bit cheaper than the initial prices. That's one thing a lot of people never factor in because they'll ask for a price for one pineapple and they'll give you a good price but then when I say well how much if I buy five or ten pineapples or same thing with fish if I say how much per kilo and then I'll say how much for five kilos the price always drops. So obviously I couldn't carry all this while I carried my gimbal, so I'm actually using my phone right now. And then I went back in there and then bought multiple kilos of everything and saved even more. So I'll make sure to put up the exchange rate so you guys know what I paid today in USD and in peso. But either way, I just bought a lot of food really cheap. So I'm gonna walk back in there one last time and get probably, I don't know, five to 10 pounds of shrimp. And we'll see what I can get that for. Salamat. All right, those jumbo shrimp were 400 peso per kilo, which is 2.2 pounds. So I just kind of hesitated and looked and said, oh, 
two kilo, 270, uh, 375. And I said, how much for three kilo? She was 350. I said, okay. So I bought three kilos for 1,050 peso, which is less than $20 for three kilos of jumbo shrimp, which is 6.6 .6 pounds. So that is a phenomenal price. I'm very happy with that. All right, now my wife is now buying 10 kilos of these little fish because it's all she feeds the cats and dogs. She doesn't like feeding them on a can of her bag. So she just buys them fresh fish, but we buy 10 kilos at a time. It comes out to only 70 peso each. So that's really, really cheap for the amount of fish we're getting. That creepy balloon guy's been following me around for a couple minutes, just staring at me. I don't know if he wants something, but I don't want a balloon. I keep telling him I'm trying to hold all this camera gear. So. All right, everyone, uh, thank you for watching. We've really enjoyed this city. Uh, it has everything we need. It's closer to us than Dumaguete. It's, mm -hmm. And for the people thinking, well, there's no mall or movie theater, you're right. It doesn't have a mall or movie theater. It's not that big. But the fact is, it's my own guy, Poon. Um, I don't even know that guy. But anyways, everyone's friendly here. But the fact is, according to my GPS, it's 48 minutes to Dumaguete. So it's not far. We like it because of that reason. It, every, it has everything that we need. And again, you can get to the city if you need to relatively quickly, but the prices out here are very cheap in comparison to moving in the city, and then all the prices go up. So a lot of people like the province, which is, we like the province, but that we can come down here, get everything we need, or go into the city if we're not too far. So, all right. Well, I hope you enjoyed uh, Ten High City. We've enjoyed it. And now we're going to go look at a different city next week that no one seems to show on YouTube and see what it's all about. Uh, let me get down here lower. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.